Hi, this is Drew with Finale. This video is the fourth part in a series on migrating effects from Finale Business to Finale 3D using a Noah's Ark file. A Noah's Ark file is an HBS show file created in Finale Business that includes one of each effect that you would like to transfer to Finale 3D. If you're not already familiar with the Noah's Ark strategy, before watching this video, be sure to check out the Step 1 video on creating a Noah's Ark file the Step 2 video on importing the Noah's Ark file, and the Step 3 video on updating and tuning simulations in Finale 3D. The focus of this video will be using the effects in the Noah's Ark file to update Finale Inventory. Finale Inventory is an excellent solution for inventory management that seamlessly integrates with Finale 3D. If you don't currently have Finale Inventory and you would like to learn more, please visit FinaleInventory.com. To get started, First, let's connect Finale Inventory to Finale 3D. Start by going to the Finale 3D website and then log in. Enter the email address and password for your Finale 3D account and click Log In. Then go to My Account and select Connect to Finale Inventory. Scroll down to Finale Inventory Admin Credentials. Here you'll see Finale Inventory Account URL. This is the same URL or website address that you visit in order to access Finale Inventory. In this example, I have Finale Inventory open in a separate browser tab, so I can simply copy the URL from the address bar and then paste it into the settings for Finale 3D. Next, I'll enter my Finale Inventory username and password and then click Update to complete the process. Once the new settings take effect, the page will automatically refresh. The Finale Inventory user assignments are listed below. Share the inventory with other Finale 3D users by entering their email address here and clicking Add User. The email address entered must be the same as the email address that they use to log into Finale 3D. In this section, you can also set permissions on a per user basis to control which users can change products, see prices, or update sales orders. With the Finale Inventory connection now complete, we'll launch Finale 3D. After login, Finale 3D will automatically synchronize with the connected Finale inventory. Finale 3D opens with the inventory displayed in the effects window. Confirm the selection by using the blue drop-down list. Looking at the inventory, many of the items are missing information, including size, pre-fire, duration, etc. Before updating the effects, I'll open the show that contains my custom table layout for editing. I created the show in the Step 2 video on importing a Noah's Ark. Check out that video to learn how, or use the link in the description below to download my .fin file. To select the custom table layout, I'll go to the blue gear icon, and then select table layout, and then choose editing. To update the inventory, I'll use my Noah's Ark HBS. Go to File, Import, Import Effects from HBS file, and then Create New Effects file with Imported Effects. In the video on importing a Noah's Ark, I use the option Import into My Effects. Here I'm using a slightly different option, which is Create New Effects File with Imported Effects. Select the Noah's Ark HPS, click Open, and then click Continue to import the effects. A new collection of effects has been added to the effects window. To change the layout, go to the blue gear icon, select table layout, and then choose editing. Notice that this group of effects is the same as the inventory, except it contains all of the missing information such as size, duration, and prefire. When I imported the Noah's Ark HBS, I used the option to create a new effect file instead of importing into My Effects. My Effects is a personal collection of effects stored in the cloud on the Finale 3D servers. In contrast, an effect file is stored locally on your computer and consists of a file with a .fdb file extension. An effect file is a great place to store and work on effects in the process of getting them ready to update Finale Inventory. Saving an effect file is done from the drop-down list. Go to Effect Files, Save As, select a name for the effect file, and then click Save. Other effect file operations are also performed from the blue drop-down list. To close the Noah's Ark FDB, go to Effect Files and then choose Close. 
To load an effect file, choose Effect Files, Load, select the FDB file, and click Open. If you are using an effect file, you will need to load it each time you start Finale 3D. Effect files are not loaded automatically. After reloading the effect file, I'll restore the custom table layout. Now it's time to update the Finale Inventory effects. Hold Ctrl on your keyboard and press A to select all. Then hold Ctrl on the keyboard and press C to copy. Switch to your inventory from the blue drop-down list. Then hold Ctrl and press V to paste. Notice that because the part numbers in our Noah's Ark are the same, the default pasting behavior in Finale is to not overwrite the existing items. This is not what we want, so we'll press Ctrl Z to undo. Instead, go to the Effects menu and choose Paste Clipboard into Effects window, Add or Update. Now instead of creating duplicates, this feature has matched up part numbers to automatically update the inventory effects using the information from the Noah's Ark. Using this technique to incorporate effect information into Finale Inventory from a Noah's Ark file is especially important if you created custom simulations in Finale Business. This is the only technique that will allow you to retain your custom simulations when migrating Finale Inventory from Finale Business to Finale 3D. The last step is to save. Go to the blue drop-down list and choose Sync with Network. Note the number of items that have changed in the inventory. Then click Continue to upload the changes. In some situations, it may be useful to work on the Noah's Ark data in Excel and import it directly into Finale Inventory as opposed to Finale 3D. To export an Excel spreadsheet ready for import into Finale Inventory, go to the blue drop-down list and select the Noah's Ark collection. Then go to File, Export, and choose Export Effects for Importing into Finale Inventory. Specify a name for the Excel sheet and click Save. The resulting Excel file contains all of the information, including the correct column headers, ready for import directly into Finale Inventory. Creating an Excel file such as this is not strictly necessary, but it may be useful in certain situations. Now let's look at how easy it is to import into Finale Inventory. Use Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, then switch to Finale Inventory. From the Inventory menu, choose Products, then choose Import Products and Import from Spreadsheet. Use Ctrl V to paste, and notice how all of the column headers have automatically been matched. To commit the import, click Next, and then click Commit. Just like that, with a few easy steps, I was able to import data directly from Finale 3D. This concludes the video on updating Finale Inventory using a Noah's Ark. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for many more great videos to come.